The Amped EV Podcast is sponsored by Autel Energy. Visit autelenergy.com for more information. Hello and welcome back to the Amped EV Podcast. My name is David. I am the editor for The Buzz. And I'm Maddie Weiner, editor of Tire Review. Maddie, thank you for being on the show. Hey, David, I am amped to be here. I'm so excited. I'm excited too because tires are one of those components that is a major component that you have to keep in mind when you're driving an EV. Right. You think, okay, there's not any maintenance you have to do anymore. All that stuff's out the window. Oil changes, forget about them. Tires, though, whole different story. And we are seeing that as you are traveling, you're going all over the place, you're going to dealer meetings, you're going to the manufacturers, you're seeing these tires being made specifically for EVs. So at this point, are you seeing like, does every tire manufacturer have their own EV tire? So this is a really good question. And the answer is no, actually. Hmm. Um, it really depends on how the tire make, excuse me, the tire maker is dealing with this. Um, you know, a lot of tire makers, I think right now, are looking at their EV tire line or looking at their tire lines or replacement tire lines and looking at the OE fitments that they do have and and tire sizes and seeing, okay, you know, uh, how do we want to handle this? Mm -hmm. You know, you have uh, companies like uh, Hankook that has released their own EV tire um, and, you know, separate tire lines uh, from, you know, their replacement tires. Okay. Um, and then you have um, companies like Continental who are saying, you know, their tires, their replacement tires right now are, um, you know, can be fitted on an EV, but it really just depends on what uh, performance uh, the customer is, you know, has. Uh, that, that they need. Yeah. They require. Yes. They, yeah. 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 For. Yeah. What they what they choose is a priority, I guess yeah, I should yeah. say. So, you know, that could be range. That could be uh, tread life. That could be. um you know, durability, sure. things like that. So, um, yeah, so there, there's different approaches uh, that are being taken in the tire industry today. So you're seeing that Continental, uh, for example, is saying, you know, we don't need necessarily this EV designation for you to spec this tire on your EV. You can take any of our tires and any of our lines and put it on your EV and it's going to work how you need it to just based on the performance attributes that you're looking for. So sort of, yeah. So so they are saying like, yes, you can take any of our tires and, you know, put it on an EV, but they're saying that there's performance trade-offs. So if you have, you know, a replacement tire, for example, um, they they uh, launched, Continental launched, I think it was two years ago, the DWS 06 Plus, okay. which is a UHP all-season tire, ultra high performance. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that tire, for example, if that you put it on a Tesla, I don't know, whatever, um, they're saying, yeah, that'll that will perform. Um, but they do have, you know, and, and that will perform with, uh, you know, tread wear and um, durability, traction, all that stuff. But okay. if you want more range out of your tires, they're recommending, um, you know, dealers suggest that customers go with the OE tire, and they do have, you know, OE tires that, um, you know, they they work with. All the OEMs, all the automakers, and um, you know, have those sizes and and those fitments uh, for uh, you know those vehicles. Okay, okay. So there are some manufacturers that have a specific EV designation stamped on to the right. sidewall of the tire. Um, in so in Continental's case, you don't necessarily need to look for that, but having that will signify what to the customer. Yeah, so uh, having that check mark. So uh, Pirelli has sort of an EV, um, you know, uh, symbol, I guess, on their sidewall. Continental will have an EV uh, check mark. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, uh, you know, Continental told me that, you know, their executives that uh, tires, you know, from now on that are being manufactured, replacement tires, will have that uh, check mark. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So signifying that, you know, these tires can be put on an EV. Yeah, yeah. Kind of get rid of any confusion that like, can I put these on my EV? I don't know. Exactly. Okay. So Continental Pirelli are doing doing that. Um, 
but yeah, that that's one way to signify to the dealer and and to the customer that yeah, like these tires can be put on an EV and you know they can withstand you know all the things that all the ways EVs are different from ICE vehicles. Interesting. Okay, mm-hmm. so this is this is something that I just uh, it's a burning question. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> is the EV designation, is it really just marketing? I mean, do you really need it? At the, can you really just spec any tire you want on your EV? I mean, what makes it what makes it important? Right, right. Yeah, no, that's a really good question. And, you know, a lot of dealers I talk to is like, EV's this buzzword in the industry, and some are nervous about it, and some are like, what's going on? Like, I want more info. But um, EV, EV tires are not a marketing tactic, I would say, from how I, I see the industry. Um, there are advantages to knowing what tires can be fitted for an EV. Mm-hmm. Um, and dealers, you know, need to get educated on that. You know, I'm sure you've talked about this on the podcast. EVs are heavier because they have heavier batteries, significantly heavier than ICE vehicles, which impacts the load carrying capacity of a tire. That makes sense. Right. So, um, you know, dealers really need to pay attention to the tire's load carrying capacity, that it matches the uh, vehicle's placard. Um, and, you know, that's determined, all that information is determined by the car maker. So um, load carrying capacity is the big one. Okay. Also tread wear, um, you know, EVs have pretty much instant torque. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, learning about the technology that goes into the tire, you know, uh, how tire makers are working with uh, OEMs and really looking at tests and what what the manufacturer's message is around you know that certain tire line I think is really going to be important for dealers down the line. So if uh, I am a customer and I choose to put a tire on my EV that maybe it doesn't have the correct load capacity, that is a safety issue at that point. A hundred percent, yeah, safety issue. I mean, you know, that tire could blow out while you're on the highway, like, geez, that's crazy. And, you know, the dealer's on on the hook for that. Mm. Um, you know, it could also lead to just really increased tire wear. I know um, I was at a conference recently talking to a dealer and this dealer was telling me, yeah, like this guy is, you know, coming in a customer to their store every three months to replace uh, tires on his EV. Is that a typical story? So it is. And it, but it depends on the tires you're using. So this, so I had this conversation with this dealer and said, well, you know, there's, you know, EV tires, like, you know, there's manufacturers that are labeling their tires like for EV use or creating new tire lines for EVs and things like that. And they didn't know that. So that's why, you know, I think there just needs to be more education around, you know, in the aftermarket for not only general repair shops, but tire dealers in particular that, you know, handle a lot of tire work. Okay. So these dealers, is this, is the proliferation of EVs, more EVs coming into their shop, is this a good thing for these tire dealers or is this something that tire dealers are worried about? They don't know how to approach. Maybe they don't have the 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 knowledge they need to give the right information to the customer or the right equipment. I mean, is, is it a good or a bad thing for your average neighborhood, friendly neighborhood tire dealer? Yeah, no, that's a good question, too. I mean, and that's a tough answer because, um, you know, like I said, some some tire dealers are really nervous about this of like, oh, well, EVs mean for me. Yeah. Other tire dealers are really digging into this technology and working with their, you know, manufacturer partners to see, OK, you know, what technology do you have? What fitments do you have? You know, sizes, yeah. um, you know, load carrying capacities that can really handle the weight of these vehicles. So um, I don't think it will, like, you know, is it good or bad? Hard to say. It kind of depends on who you are. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, something that I think I would stress is that, you know, at least for tire dealers, EV tires are not something new that will change the way they sell a tire, right? Like, for tire dealers, you know, when you walk into a tire dealership, as a customer, like you want that dealer to ask questions about your driving style, mm-hmm. um, you know, your commute, uh, you know, what performance attributes do you find uh, most important? Yeah. So that type of 
you know, consultation or conversation with the customer won't change because you're still going to have to know what the customer finds important. And, and that's no exception with, you know, tires for EVs. So good or bad, I don't know, hard to say, but definitely, um, you know, something that is just the next evolution for, for tire dealers. And that makes sense. I mean, it, it speaks to your point that you had made earlier where, you know, it's, it's more about what the customer is looking for, what, uh, what sorts of attributes they are looking to get out of their tires, right. not necessarily... Um, you know, whether it needs to be that EV stamped tire every time. Right. But I mean, if I'm a tire dealer and I'm having a customer come in every three months to buy a new set of tires, I think that sounds pretty sweet. I mean, I don't know if that's, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's typical necessarily or not, but I mean, right. that sounds like a pretty good moneymaker. I don't know. So yeah, it makes money, but you might not keep the customer, right? And part of the job of the tire dealer is to do what's best, you know, recommend what's best for the customer. Yeah. Yeah. So, if they have a good experience, they're going to keep coming back just exactly. like anything else. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I was going to say, too, about EVs impacting tire shops, and this isn't just tire shops, but general automotive repair shops as well, is, you know, for tire dealers, a lot of dealers in the industry split their business between 50 percent tires and 50 percent service. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them do service, you know, whether it's battery replacement or brakes, you know, shocks and struts, things like that. A lot of undercar work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, part of the service is servicing EVs, whether it's, you know, looking at the battery or, you know, um, ADOS or something like that. So um, I think that for, for tire dealers, I think that is a big worry. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've talked to a, a shop in, um, actually, multi, uh, multi-location dealer in Fort Wayne, Indiana, McMahon's Best One. Okay. And um, they're creating, you know, an automotive technology center that mm -hmm. will dig into these types of topics and figure out, you know, how can our shop get the information from the car manufacturers and the vehicle itself to service these, um, you know, EVs that will eventually more and more be coming into the shop. Okay. So. Art, um, McMahon's, I think, is a great example of um, doing this kind of training right. As a tire dealer, do you need access to this sort of training facility, this, um, you know, a, a massive training push to be able to service these EVs? Or are you kind of okay where you are you can you know maybe watch some youtube videos you know like <laughs> what what level do you need to be at yeah yeah you know a lot of dealers are implementing formalized training it doesn't have to be in sort of a big scale like an automotive training center for a multi-location dealership but you have people out there you know organizations like the tire industry association um ase uh garage gurus is a, is a good one and a big one um, that, you know, if a tire dealer is interested or really a general automotive repair shop, mm -hmm. if those owners are interested in training their staffs up on, you know, EV technology and how to service it, that that training's out there. Now, I will say some of the right to repair stuff comes into play here because, mm -hmm. you know, data from the vehicle, depending on, you know, uh, the manufacturer might not be available, like the telematics data and stuff. But it, it also depends on how willing you are to, um, you know, seek that out and really f find out what's available. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I think service is going to be, a, you know, training on the service side is going to be a, a huge part. Obviously, training on the sire, tire side as well. Mm -hmm. um, but really, you know, McMahon's told me, which I thought was interesting, is, you know, training their technicians in EVs is a chance to upskill their workforce. Mm. So, you know, just just add to the skills that they already have and maybe attract even, um, you know, different uh, different professions into the industry, like engineers and things oh, like that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, training training's going to be huge as this technology proliferates, as more people get EVs. Yeah. You know, right now in rural areas, you're not seeing a lot of EVs because of the range issue, right? For sure. Yeah. Um, but, you know. There's a lot of different developments and, uh, you know, infrastructures getting ramped up, which I know you've talked about probably on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So so, so that could change. Um, but training is definitely important. Excellent. Excellent. And it makes sense. Uh, I mean, as far as being, at, I mean, that could be a differentiator for you if you have an EV trained staff and your competition doesn't. Yeah. You know, as more and more these are hitting the roads. 
that's going to be that's going to be a difference maker for for a lot of people. They're going to know, hey, you you service EVs. These other guys I talk to don't, and they're going to be coming to you, you know, for the foreseeable future. Exactly. Yeah. So and there's a, there's a lot of resources out there, and you know, I would encourage you know, tire dealers, independent automotive repair shops, you know, whomever is interested to like get in touch with vendors or you know, tire manufacturers and, and really figure out like what their stance is on, on EV repairs and, um, you know, tire recommendations and things like that. Okay. So I have one last question for you. You had mentioned earlier about, um, consumers maybe needing to, uh, buy new tires more often or, uh, really be keeping an eye on their tires when they're driving an EV because of that added weight, that added torque, things like that. Um, are tire dealers concerned that perhaps they, uh, the, these consumers, these drivers, might not be keeping up with these new tires, or you know, these uh, not necessarily new tires, but the the tires that they're putting on their vehicles because they're not used to it. They're used to having that ICE vehicle where they get a certain amount of mileage from their tires. Now they're not getting that as often. Are they concerned that this might become a safety issue where? Whether you realize it or not, as the driver, you're choosing not to get new tires when. Right. Yeah, it definitely is a safety issue. And uh, I think right now, um, because, you know, sort of EV tires and this, you know, technology around them and, you know, the the high load uh, capacity, there's right now HL tires that are, you know, being introduced into the market um, that have higher loads that can handle the the weight of the vehicle and also, you know, matching that load carrying capacity uh, with the um, capacity on the vehicle. You know, those are the points that are really being communicated right now. Mm -hmm. um, it, and it is a safety issue. Like dealers need to know that, you know, they, they got to pay attention to the load. They got to, you know, ask questions to their, you know, c customers. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it is a safety issue. Um. I think manufacturers are doing what they can right now to educate dealers and their staffs about it. Mm -hmm. But it really is sort of, um, you know, the impetus is on on that shop to to embrace it and, and mm -hmm. figure out, you know, what message is each manufacturer that they're working with, uh, you know, telling them about their their tires so that they can, you know, provide that safety and um, peace of mind to the customer that they have been for years. So, yeah. 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 And, I mean, Safety, it just keeps coming up over and over again with EVs, whether you're talking about the high voltage or, you know, tires. And yeah. It, it's interesting that if you don't have the right training as, um, you know, either a tire dealer or a general repair shop, things could go south pretty quickly for you. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, so having that training in line, it just, it just makes sense if you are going to, if it's your goal to be ready for these EVs when they come into your shop, you've got to have the right training. Exactly. A hundred percent. Yeah. And and that's that's the main point. You know, EV tires, you know, what we call EV tires, mm -hmm. like we said, there's so many different definitions of them, but um, they're new to the market, really. I mean, you know, in the aftermarket, you know, we've been seeing EVs for, you know, maybe the last five years, you know, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but yeah, this technology is still really new. So there needs to be, um, you know, awareness needs to be spread around, you know, what to do when one of these vehicles comes into your shop, both on the tire side and on the service side. For sure. For sure. Maddie, thank you for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. This is super interesting. Thanks. I yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome back anytime. I'll, I'll take you up on it. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.